Greetings all. I'd like to take a look at how to diagram adjectival, adverbial, and noun clauses and how to differentiate between the three in order to determine what type of skeleton is needed. So this first sentence here will label the component parts and then we'll determine what type of clause we're looking at. So my typically is a possessive pronoun but we have the antecedent so in this case the pronoun is being used as an adjective. New is also an adjective. Kitten, of course this is a noun. Who is a relative pronoun, right? Is, of course, is a linking verb. A is an indefinite article, also known as an adjective. Tabby is a noun. That means that this is going to be acting as our predicate nominative. Has, we have another verb here, black stripes. In this case, it's an action verb because we have a direct object. Has, black, adjective, stripes is a noun. And this is acting as our direct object. All right, here's the important part. The relative pronoun that begins this subordinate clause is preceded by a noun. When this situation occurs, we know we're talking about an adjective or an adverbial clause because adjectives modify nouns. Here's the noun. This is modifying it. Here go. We're talking about an adjective clause. So the skeleton here is going to be a little bit unique. Of course, we're going to find the main clause here. My new kitten, who is a tabby, has black stripes. Everything under here is considered the subordinate clause. So let's start at the very beginning. I mentioned there was a direct object, so we know the skeleton should reflect this. This is the main clause. All right, in reverse order, stripes, has, and kitten. We're going to fill in our modifiers. My, new, kitten, has, black, stripes. What kind of kitten is it? Oh, it's a kitten who is it also a tabby. So our skeleton is going to reflect that. The kitten. We're going to connect the independent to the subordinate clause with the relative pronoun. Who is Tabby A? This is the predicate nominative right here. So we need to make sure that we have the diagonal line that reflect that. My new kitten, who is a Tabby, has black stripes. This is a different situation than the following sentence. Whoever adopts a rescue kitten will not regret that decision. All right, so we'll label this the same way we did, and then we'll determine what type of subordinate clause we're looking at. Adjective, adverb, or noun clause. Whoever is an indefinite pronoun. Adopts is an action verb. A is an indefinite article, again, also known as an adjective. Rescue, in this case, is also acting as an adjective, modifying kitten, which is a noun. Will not is your complete predicate. right? And then we're going to regret is also part of the complete predicate. So all this stuff is going to be our verb. And it's an action verb. <laughs> that is typically a pronoun. However, we have the antecedent next to it, so this time it's being used as an adjective, a modifier. And that is the decision. It's receiving the action of regret. Here go, it is also the direct object. Okay. Now, here's where the main clause starts. Regret that decision. But who will regret that decision? Or, or I say, who will not regret that decision? Oh, whoever. So, there's nothing before this. We know we're talking about a noun clause. Therefore, the skeleton needs to reflect that. We'll start with the main. Our direct object, decision. Will not regret is our action. That 
modifies the decision. And then we know that the subject of the sentence is a subordinate noun clause. So we draw our little stick figure fellow here. Whoever. And this process looks pretty much exactly like the main clause, but it must go above. Whoever adopts our action verb, kitten is the direct object receiving the action of adoption. So I should label that up here too. And we have our modifiers. A, rescue. Whoever adopts a rescue kitten will not regret that decision. Different from here, our adjective clause. Here's how we do diagram two different types of clauses. Noun and adjective. The skeleton here uses this dotted line. The skeleton here uses this stick figure funnel. Have a lovely day.